Hello, ladies and gents, and welcome back to Star Wars Squadrons. Hello there, little dude. Ah, you're the um the R2 unit from the back of my X-wing. Congratulations, you are now the cutest and most interesting character I've met in the game so far. The Empire won't push into our territory again anytime soon. I wouldn't thanks either. To our new pilot. Yeah, and thanks to the rest of us. This isn't a race, all right? We're a team. You're right, Gunny. But still, nice flying out there. Well, Speaking thank you, of I guess. fancy flying, I was thinking about the Dragon Void run from a few years back. You see that one, Keo? Oh, sure. I caught the whole thing on the hollow net. Yeah, me too. I watched the entire thing, but for the life of me, I can't recall who won. I think it was one of the Ash twins. No, wait. Delon Vuk. Yeah, that's it. Boy, he was something else back then. In fact, the only pilot I've seen that comes close right. since is Keo here. Oh, come on. Delon Vuk's got nine championships under his belt. I've only got five. Well, fun as this is, Commander Javes has someone special waiting for us in the briefing room. Let's get in there and find out what's next. Alright. The, the problem they've got here is these characters, they're clearly scripted to speak to one another, but it's also clear... You are really cute. It's also clear that um, they've, they were not recorded at the same time speaking to one another. If you're going to have two characters talk in a game and you want it to sound natural, they have to be in the same booth and they actually have to talk to one another. So where is it now? I helped Talus Group chase it away from a medical convoy towards Yavin. It's pinned in the upper atmosphere with no Star hyperdrive, Destroyer. but too many fighters for Talus Group to handle alone. This might work out for both of us. Come, meet our visitor. Wedge Antilles, Rogue mm -hmm. Squadron. I hear you're the reason I was able to finally get a calm through. Now, I'd be really excited if you didn't show up in the trailers and the, uh... We need a Star Destroyer for Project Starhawk, intact. Now we prove what Vanguard's made of. Wedge, if you would... Hijacking a Star Destroyer? Really? Okay, so just the squadron in here and Your Wedge. Your ready to go. All right, let's do the briefing. Talos Group has cornered the Imperial Star Destroyer Victorum, above the planet Yavin. They're in tough, but it's presented a great opportunity for us to jump in and not only disable that Star Destroyer, but to seize control. So first, we need to give ourselves some cover by knocking out the turrets. Naturally, if we can also take out the targeting system, that'll buy us even more time. Next, we need to prepare the Star Destroyer for boarding. You'll need to find a potential breach point in the Victorum's hull. Preferably near the bridge. The one Once on the back would be spot, ideal. Bombard it until the hull is breached. However, we can expect that the Victorum still has plenty of TIE fighters. They will try to stop us. Once the skies are clear, we can bring in the boarding team. While our troops capture the bridge, Vanguard will defend the exterior from reinforcements. Take the bridge, Once decompress the, the ship. Team has seized the bridge, and as in control of the Star Destroyer, we will rendezvous with the Temperance. Okay, I think I accidentally made stealing a Star Destroyer sound simple. Hmm. Let's hope it is. Yeah, it, is, it doesn't sound natural the way they're talking. Um, actually, no, we'll talk to Wedge first. What have you got to say for yourself? Sorry for the speedy introduction, but Talus Group was counting on me to get reinforcements fast. Your commander says you have talent. Enough to steal a Star Destroyer and get away with it. Normally, I'd have Rogue Squadron for this. But General Sindula gave me a temporary assignment to Project Starhawk. Meanwhile, Rogue is handling... Well, that's classified too. General Sindula keeps us busy. Your commander and I have something in common. I once flew for the Empire too. At Skystrike Academy. So I did half the Turning people to the in the rebellion. rebellion was the smartest move I ever made. I wish more of my friends had done the same. Look, I appreciate the talk, but uh, Talus Group's waiting for us. You know, it, it almost kind of strikes me. So we've got these guys here to talk to first. We'll see what they've got to say first. 
A Star Destroyer? Aren't you tossing him in the deep end a little early, Linden? Vanguard Referring can to me, can't you? Besides, Project Starhawk needs that Star Destroyer for... Well, you know. Wedge oh, really? made a name for himself that's, at the Battle that's of the lazy. He knows that system better than the Empire ever will. You'll be fighting on the Rebellion's old turf. So if Wedge has any advice... Turf and space. Vacuum is vacuum. You know, a wounded Krakana can still bite. Just watch yourself around that oh, Star Destroyer, huh? Get out there as soon as you can. Sorry. Uh, I'm wondering whether or not the original design for the speaking roles for the characters here... Inspect. Oh, let's have a look around the X-Wing. Yeah, this will exist solely for VR. But anyways, what I was sort of thinking is, I'm wondering whether or not... It's an interesting shot from the back end. I just wonder what that was about. Um, whether or not the way the characters talk, it, it almost seems like so you were supposed to give Yavin. responses. In exalted company, it seems. And now we know Project Starhawk needs an Imperial Star Destroyer. That's enough firepower to tackle a small fleet, or a means to catch the Empire off guard. But that wouldn't warrant all this secrecy. Attention. There must this be more to the Commander's plan. We'll just have to trust him. Well, of course we will. He's our Truth Commander. We're pilots. There isn't an easier way to get what we need. Even a damaged Star Destroyer has deck upon deck of Durasteel plating, turrets, shields. My poor, bigoted father called Star Destroyers the fists of the Empire. He wasn't wrong, but they can be beaten, if you're good and lucky. Let's stay optimistic. To Yavin, then. Let's not delay. Yeah, that gap in between lines there, it almost sounds like there's parts in the script where either somebody has not done any kind of um, blending for the ships themselves, or, or for, like, for the conversations themselves, or that... Um, there's supposed to be a point where you have the opportunity to select a response. But the commander it... wants you on an X-wing for this mission. Got well, you that figured that's what there's an X-wing there. They disable ah. enemy fighters, and they'll disable subsystems on enemy capital ships too. Yeah, standard loadout ion missiles. This is actually a really nasty loadout for PvP as well. Ion missiles and the standard X-wing. Uh, actually, the burst lasers are a little bit better, but the standard cannons aren't bad. You shut down an enemy fighter and then blast them. But yeah, have a listen to the conversations. It, I really do think that this, uh, the original design and concept here may have been... may have had some kind of light uh, RPG element where you could actually speak back and had X number of lines that you could potentially speak. Especially considering that your pilot is voiced. You select a voice for them. You just don't have any lines of dialogue in the cutscenes. I'm wondering on whether or not you're supposed to. Prime. This place always brings back memories. Let's hope for some of that Skywalker luck today. He didn't have All luck, right. he had the Force. He's a space wizard. We're heading for the heart of the action. Vanguard, follow his lead. This is Talus Leader, calling for immediate assistance. Captain Antilles with Vanguard Squadron. Here to help. It's damn good to see you, Wedge. We've taken heavy losses. We need that Star Destroyer stopped. Don't you worry. We're here to hijack it. <laughs> You're just, what? Just blurt that out on an open channel. Interceptors. Those have got to be the first to go. Agreed. They're fast. Well, They'll rip right through our fighters. If you want to unlock my turtle. Prioritize targets. Thank you. Time. Star 
Destroyer just launched a new swarm of TIE interceptors. Stay sharp. Okay. Can I deal with these ones first? Is that okay? Picked up a tail. Oh, that's it. That's the edge of the map. That's why I lost targeting on it. Okay. There is actually limits to how far you can go. God damn it. Yes, I know how iron weapons work. I did check in the menu as well before starting this mission. Ow, ow, ow. checking the menu to see whether or not you can turn that off you can't there's no off option for those pop-up interrupt play tutorials at all got a real knack with those ion missiles five disabled target i'm on it that's it all ties down good Whew. job vanguard all right not yet reloading okay regroup on Thomas leader Wedge, we've taken heavy losses. We need to make a few repairs, then get ourselves out of here. Roger that, Talos leader. And don't worry about the Imperials. Oh, we'll keep them busy. You're really gonna steal that Star Destroyer? That's the plan. Okay, Vanguard, on me. Let's head for the Victorum. Come on, Witch, we're already Focus going in. shields before they open fire on us. <sighs> there at the very least needs to be an option. Put in some menus Let's do to turn it. that off. That has to be patched in as soon as possible. Because that's going to be real annoying when that happens every single time you play this. Every time. systems scan for a breach point so we can send in a boarding team you're up five breaching a star destroyer just like the old days look out vanguard you got a gunny star incoming five hasn't heard it sure <laughs> just tell me when i can turn my comms back on if your comms are off how can we tell you to no forget it so this right here, I've got to cycle through targets to get that to pop off my screen. I've been cycling through targets since the moment I started this campaign. Got 
Got a tail. system the auto cycle targets is only cycling back to the breach points so I can't select my nearest hostile tire at the moment I want to clean the tires up before I go back and scan breach points so I don't have them chewing on my ass the whole time I'm trying to complete the objective Looks like. Well, look at that. A shot. You heard the droid. Got one on my tail. Don't stay in the clouds too long. Even this high up, the heat's gonna strip your hull. Enemy got a lock. <laughs> It's spawning in more, I just can't, I can't target them easily enough. Hey, they're behind me! Let's keep looking. Complete scans. And stay down. Maybe then at least let me target the friggin' time fighters properly. Exactly what I was worried about. These four to four or five TIE fighters here in this formation. And the second I turn towards skin, they're the ones shooting me in the ass. It's not the turrets, it's the fighters. If I don't kill the fighters, they're gonna maul my ass every time I try and complete the objective. Because the AI for your teammates in this game seems to be uh, completely fucking useless. To put it bluntly. Come on, 
give me some freaking charge in the guns. I want to put all my pips into powerful weapons again so I can charge the guns up, but if I do, my shields will just melt. Get a scan, please. Thank you. Charge again. Thank you. Here, we can send the team in here. Get a punch, will you? Enemies toast. Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey five, how about you breach that breach point? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm wrong, wrong side. <laughs> wrong side. That'll do. Although to be fair, that A wing deserved it. I flown one of those in the multiplayer. He should have wiped out everything right now. Took them out. Watch behind you. A wing is awesome. I'm taking fire. No! Still be guns underneath, I haven't done much under the underside of it, but Fighting simulator, more of a survive for long enough to complete your objectives, and that's it. Today. I've got to have shot down nearly more things, more times than this thing that can carry it. Yeah, fired a missile. Ow. I'm sure that wasn't so bad. Out of the way. Enemy down. 
Please stop shooting at me. So go do the damn objective. There's a bomber and a support, and then it's less a Starfighter simulator, more a Hollywood action movie simulator. This this game is the visual equivalent of you know the guy who pulls out the uh, the, the the nine millimeter pistol with a fifteen round magazine and fires fifty shots. That's what it is. That is the trash shoot, isn't it? Clear the skies. Running me. Five, get over the prison. I've already helped him. They walked onto my ship. Still in the fight. You heard the droid. Got one on my tail. I've lost my shields. How crap are you that you keep getting into this trouble? This is the second time I've had to chase him off you. Yes. Thanks, five. You're alive. Three by my count. That's how it's done. Finally! Great work. 
U wings are on their way. We can bring the boarding team in safely. Follow me to the rendezvous. We'll give them cover. Vanguard, let's go. You're still up. Every gun off this damn thing so I can't shoot it while I try and complete the rest of the objectives. Seems to be it. Alright, so that's all the guns gone. So now, when the next fight breaks out... Come on, Wedge. Let's go. Because there's almost bound to be another fight at this point. The shuttles are yet to be. At least we won't have to worry about fire coming in from the Star Destroyer. Morning team, we have you on our sights. Ready to take on a Star Destroyer? Copy Captain Antilles. Just get us there and we'll do the rest. You heard him back on. Guide those U-Wings into position. Stay sharp. Now the U-Wing isn't a horrible design, but I'm not crew. super fond of it. If our boarding party takes the bridge, they'll slice internal security systems. The crew won't be a problem with no computer access and all the blast doors locked. We've got an Imperial carrier. They're launching reinforcements. Of course they are. They're not giving up the Victorum without a fight. Razor. Take down that cruiser. Sake. See, I don't need to do any of that right here, because I have that go. bound to a hat on my throttle. And as I said, there's no way you can actually turn that off in the menu, and every time you replay the campaign, you're going to get this crap every single time. I can't imagine how annoying this is going to be in VR after this pop up. And stopping gameplay flow every time it wants to tell you something. I'm 
Only the missiles are that easy, that easy to dodge the missiles. Because I keep running out of batter, uh, running out of power and guns. Oh, thanks. I knew I liked you. We're wearing the carrier down. Keep at it. Now I keep running out of power to the guns because I've got to keep power constantly to the shields because not good counts get shot up to me. So I'm tanking the entirety of the bloody empire. Crap, crap, crap. Almost there, Vanguard. Check that carrier down. Gotta show I'm the only one shooting at it. We have a support ship and a Y Wing, and I've set them both to attack enemies, and neither one is attacking the carrier. Great work. Alright, team. Well, maybe one of them decided to. Of course it happened off camera. Fuck! Well there goes my clean run. Finally. Great work. At least I remembered that. Let's finish off the rest. Yeah, look at all of that. That's what we're shooting at. Yeah, even if the even if the AI for your teammates wasn't horrendous like it is, the odds that it's asking. To be fair to it, it, it wouldn't be so frustrating if it wasn't for the damn tutorial pop-ups. They're just Let's regroup at the Victorum. getting the on my nerves. We're almost through those blast doors. Yeah, the rest of it, it is an arcade game. Yeah, fair enough. But yeah, the, those tutorial pop-ups are just giving me the shits at this point. We've got another Here we go again. Carrier. Oh. Make that three carriers. That's a lot. Get ready, everyone. We're in. Taking control now. 
Oh, it's got all of its guns back. Sight. Yes, the ship is ours. You actually did it. And Project Starhawk has a star destroyer. A plus for regenerating turrets, I guess. You can take it from here, Vanguard. I'll escort Talos group to safe harbor. Great work. General Sandula will be impressed. Wedge. God, that was a lot of dog fighting. All right, so we're not going to get the uh, medal for a clean completion, obviously. Mission complete. Aerodrum. Veteran. Um, trusty wingmate. Save Frisk from a deadly tail. I did that. I got both the fighters. Actually, I chased one off and then killed two more. Complete mission to in 13 minutes or less. So just complete the objectives and ignore all fighters until you absolutely have to. All right, fair enough. Complete mission two without dying. Yeah, we probably could have done that. Um, sub discover the Victorian's breach point on the first scan. I called out the back end of it being the one that would have been the right one first. I didn't... All right, so the next time I play through this, scan its butt first and be done with it. All right, well... That's it for this one, ladies and gents. Hope you enjoyed it, and thank you very much for watching. Um, I'm probably going to do one more mission in this run, see whether or not we actually get the Empire or not, and then I'll uh, I'll call this one a bit of a break for this session, and uh, we'll come back for the next one. I think I'm going to try and tweak the options up a little bit as well. Anyways, guys, see you then.